In Jewish history, there are no coincidences. Jews, black people, any people who are hated or who have suffered, either as individuals or as a people, use humor. It is a survival skill. To achieve great things, two things are needed, a plan and not quite enough time. An abnormal reaction to an abnormal situation is normal behavior. A righteous man falls down seven times and gets up. This is one of the goals of the Jewish way of living, to experience commonplace deeds as spiritual adventures, to feel the hidden love and wisdom in all things. If you are not a better person tomorrow than you are today, what need have you for a tomorrow? Humor is the weapon of unarmed people. It helps people who are oppressed to smile at the situation that pains them. Don't be afraid of discovering that the real you may be different than the current you. Thou shalt not be a victim, thou shalt not be a perpetrator, but, above all, thou shalt not be a bystander. Hope for a miracle, but don't rely on it. If things are not as you wish, wish them as they are. He that can't endure the bad will not live to see the good. Do not be wise in words, be wise in deeds. First mend yourself, and then mend others. As you teach, you learn. Whoever does not try, does not learn. I grew up in a tradition where having ideas and contributing to the community and creating art that had an impact on the world mattered. That's part of the Jewish tradition. To be a Jew, essentially and not just accidentally, is to regard the Jewish people as one sole primal community. Election by the unique God requires total and unconditional loyalty to one people. The Jewish community has always taken care of its own. There is never a Jewish community without its scholars, but where Jews may not be both intellectuals and Jews, they prefer to remain Jews. When there's an emerging social issue that needs greater attention by the Jewish community, that's where I am. The people of Israel compose a single soul. Only the bodies are separate. Join the community. The wolf snatches only the stray sheep that wanders off from the flock. The community is Israel's rampart. A candle is a small thing, but one candle can light another and see how its own light increases. As a candle gives its flame to the other, you are such a light. Community is society with a human face. Think of all the beauty still left around you and be happy. This is the story of a people which was scattered over all the world and yet remained a single family, a nation which time and again was doomed to destruction and yet, out of the ruins, rose to new life. Jews survived all the defeats, expulsions, persecutions, and pogroms, the centuries in which they were regarded as a pariah people, even the Holocaust itself, because they never gave up the faith that one day they would be free to live as Jews without fear. Follow your inner moonlight. Don't hide the madness. Life is a tragedy full of joy. We can endure much more than we think we can. All human experience testifies to that. Whenever feeling downcast, each person should vitally remember, for my sake, the entire world was created. The idea that it's possible to move from slavery to freedom and from darkness to light and from despair to hope, that's the greatest Jewish story ever told. Everything can be taken from a man but one thing, the last of the human freedoms, to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. You have to have faith, fantasy, hope, drive, determination, and the belief that tomorrow will be better. The past is not easy to forget, and I do not want to forget. The past lives in me. I don't live in the past. Sympathy doesn't provide food, but it makes hunger more endurable. Never trust the man who tells you all his troubles, but keeps from you all his joys. Among those who laugh, do not weep. Among those who weep, do not laugh. A pessimist, confronted with two bad choices, chooses both. 
prepare your proof before you argue. If charity cost nothing, the world would be full of philanthropists. How wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. I lived while one and half million Jewish children died, so I have an obligation to repair the world. Let the good in me connect with the good in others until the world is transformed through the compelling power of love. The highest form of wisdom is kindness. Every act of forgiveness mends something broken in this fractured world. It is a step, however small, in the long, hard journey to redemption. Our lives no longer belong to us alone. They belong to all those who need us desperately. To be kind is more important than to be right. Many times what people need is not a brilliant mind that speaks, but a special heart that listens. When I was young, I admired clever people. Now that I am old, I admire kind people. One of the very first lessons of the Torah gives it a place of high priority. All human beings are created equal. This belief in equality compels action in response to discrimination, racism, and racial injustice. Everybody, every human being has the obligation to contribute somehow to this world. Human greatness does not lie in wealth or power, but in character and goodness. People are just people, and all people have faults and shortcomings, but all of us are born with a basic goodness. Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Ding. Honestly, what can really be said about the Jewish people as a whole? Is it not a lamentable stereotype to make large generalizations about all Jews and to presume they all share the same political commitments? For evil to flourish, it only requires good men to do nothing. One cannot and must not try to erase the past merely because it does not fit the present. Whatever you choose to do, leave tracks. That means don't do it just for yourself. You will want to leave the world a little better for your having lived. He who cannot accept reproof cannot become great. Start with what is right rather than what is acceptable. We must take sides. Neutrality helps the oppressor, never the victim. Silence encourages the tormentor, never the tormented. When we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. Freedom is won, not on the battlefield, nor in the political arena, but in human imagination and will. To defend a land, you need an army, but to defend freedom, you need education. Sometimes people who are Jewish are held to a higher standard which sometimes we take great pride in. All good ideas start out as bad ideas. That's why it takes so long. Though I am not religious in the least, I am very proud to be Jewish. I marvel at the resilience of the Jewish people. Their best characteristic is their desire to remember. No other people has such an obsession with memory. I'd like it if people thought I was Jewish-looking. To be Jewish is to be specifically identified with a history. And if you're not aware of that when you're a child, the whole tradition is lost. I'm proud of my Jewish heritage. And for me, it's not just about religion. It's about community and culture as well. Anti-Jewish racism has risen, but so has Jewish pride. We will reject their attempts to shame us. We will reject their hate and instead turn towards love. Don't look for more honor than your learning merits. I have enormous pride in the survival of the Jewish people, the cultural heritage of the Jewish people, but I'm not observant and I don't belong to a synagogue. I don't go to temple on high holy days, but I'm proud to be Jewish. To be a Jew is a destiny. Hard work builds strong character. I'm a Jew. I'm fascinated by our culture and our history, by what made us the people we are. It influences every breath I take. It informs and guides me. Without it, I'd just be a vacuum. Not to have felt pain is not to have been human. Pride joined with many virtues chokes them all. 
The Jewish religion is an ethical religion. That is, we are taught to do right, to love mercy, do justice, not because there's going to be any reward in heaven or punishment in hell. We live righteously because that's how people should live. You don't need intelligence to have luck, but you do need luck to have intelligence.